With all that's happening right now and the speed at which it is happening, we are all well served to pause, stop what we're doing, and calmly ask ourselves one simple question. When will we fight tyranny? When will we take a stand? As individuals, as individual men and women, when will we say enough is enough and mean it? At what point will we stop going along? Is there a point at which we'll stop going along? Or will we ultimately do whatever we're told? At what point, if any, will we stand and perhaps even fight? What is the line that we will not allow to be crossed, if there is one? And what is the line that we will not allow ourselves or our children to be dragged across, if there is one? And there'd better be one. And if there better be one, if there needs to be one, we need to know what it is. We need to have that fixed consciously in our minds. We cannot assume that we'll somehow just know it when it gets here because things generally just don't work that way. Each of us really do need to stop now and answer these questions seriously. So in that context, I humbly suggest writing down your personal answers to each of those questions. Put them on paper. Verbalize them. Saying things out loud has a way of making making it more real in our minds. Share your answers with others and encourage them to do the same. These are the sorts of conversations that we need to be having and promoting right now. These are the brush fires of liberty that we can light in the minds of men beginning with ourselves. Once that kind of fire gets going, once it takes root and starts spreading across the land, it can and will become an unstoppable force. That's why the elite abuser class doesn't want us to even begin to consider or entertain such thoughts, much less explore them in depth. And that's why we must make them a centerpiece of our worldview. If you appreciate this perspective, please help the channel by subscribing. And if you want a deeper dive into subjects like this, sign up for the weekly newsletter at hellraiserreport.com.